All right, guys, welcome back to this week's vlog. This week, we're gonna talk about, that's right, the Nissan Skyline GTR. And it's big brother, the GTR itself. Is it still obtainable or is it too far, too gone? Let's deep dive. Let's dive deep into this topic. Let's get started. This is a 1999 uh, Nissan Skyline GTR. And this is a 2017. It's pretty brand new. Only has, uh, I believe, 6,000 miles on it. And Lucas, so how many how many kilometers do you have on this, roughly? Two, one million. Eight. Yeah, let's say one. Let's say 150, and it's one it's million. it's mint, you guys. And we're gonna start talking about today's topic. Look at this cut up. Is this still obtainable, or is it just becoming unattainable anymore? A lot of people still love this car, but can it, they afford it? And who can afford it? And let's uh, let's go talk to the owners and uh, let's get started. If you've been following me on my vlog. I've been telling you guys uh, for quite some time that I've been chasing after this car and with no success. And is it becoming to the point where I can't afford it no more or it just, the price is just ridiculous. And it's gonna open a lot of options for other types of vehicles within this price range. And let's try to answer the question where with the price that it's fetching now or the market price, would you buy this car or is it worth it? All right guys, so this is my friend Lucas and he's the actual owner of uh, this beautiful R32 that you guys see in, in a few of my uh, my vlogs. And let, I'm gonna go be frank and I'm gonna just go straight up ask Lucas, your car is just upsy, absurd and it's just overpriced now. <laughs> like, your li like, like your license plate says. <laughs> overpriced overrated. overrated or is it overpriced? <laughs> <laughs> it's but, overrated. But on a serious note, do, do you, I looked it up yesterday and the price that our, our, our market price for this car is in the upwards of 150 to 200,000. And that is, yeah, you're correct. Yeah, right? US. That's US, you guys. So for a lot of enthusiasts, which are really young kids, right, Marcos? Yes. This is my good friend Marcos too. Hi guys. And he's the owner of another beautiful, beautiful R34 yes. and, and uh, uh, R33. <laughs> well, no, we'll talk more about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right? So, w with that said, you know, a lot of young enthusiasts can't afford this car, unfortunately, unless they're like a YouTube star. And oh, but with that, with that price set now, would you spend that kind of money? Well, well, let's go back to ask how much was it when the car actually came out? What yeah, was okay, the value let's start. Of this car? Let's start, Lucas. If you don't first. mind. And can you send me that picture that you know you know that picture that you sent when you first bought took it next to the container? It was ugly. Uh, oh yeah, I can send you. First that. picture when you buy the car. Yeah. First day. When, yeah, I can send it to you. In, <laughs> in my honest opinion, you guys, in stock form, the R33, 32, 34, it's ugly. Without the body kit, without the uh, Nismo fenders, and the touch right, it, 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 yeah. it's an ugly car, and I'll. I'll I'll put a picture for you guys to see Lucas's car when it before it, it transformed into what it is now, yeah. and it's absolutely gorgeous, you guys. And it takes the spotlight from my car every damn time we go to a car show. Everywhere, damn, <laughs> everywhere. Damn, 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 damn everywhere guys. But, but would you would you spend? Well, sorry. Yes. How, how much did you spend, Lucas, on your car? If, if you don't mind us asking. With, like, everything. When when you first bought it, like, oh. just when you. Well, when it was imported. considering that I bought it back in 2014. -ish. Yeah, okay. So they were going for 30K, so... 30K, you guys! <laughs> 30K! And, and Marcos, how much <laughs> did you spend for your 33? Uh, man, I pay 18 grand for my <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe that, you guys? Yeah. And, and hey. you, I think this car new was around the 33, $35,000 in that time when this car was built, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. I have no idea to be honest with you. Yeah. But but eight, 30 grand, eight, what is it, eight, 18 grand? Come on. That is unbelievable, yeah. you guys. And now? You, well, it was a bit more than 30, but I mean, yeah. it, that ballpark, right? Right? 30 to yeah. 40 grand. But yeah. good yeah. luck. Yeah, 30 to 40, that's right. 30 yeah. to 40 grand, yeah. right? They would laugh at you. US. They would laugh oh, at you right now if somebody offered 30 grand, they'd 
they tell you go out the no even a shell get out the door get it for a shell you right couldn't now. even get a fender you no know? i think the motor will be pro you but you wouldn't get <laughs> right <laughs> yeah all right absolutely yeah so now that we have an understanding of if you had to all do it all over again for me i would buy his car in a heartbeat hands down and i don't i don't care and i think that price <laughs> was probably already when fast and furious was out already like yeah Paul Walker was already in that movie, right? Yes. Well, so he, you can see he, he that, still, that he's still here with us. Still was affordable. <laughs> yeah. Back then, yes. after he died, you oh, know, oh, eh, the the car was affordable still when Fast and Furious came out, and I think the big turnaround for this car was pretty much when, you know, may his rest in peace, you know, Paul Walker died, and this color particularly is one of the colors in the in 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 in, in, the, in the movie, and he died, and yeah. the price just rocketed, yeah. right? It was crazy. So, for the 150 to 200 US, would you buy this car for that price? Or and is it worth it, Lucas and Marcos? Because I'm asking these guys this question because they're actually genuine GTR Skyline owners. We're not talking about keyboard guys that never driven the car, never have ever sat in the car, but yet can say, "Oh yeah, this car is worth every penny." No, or, or that with the headaches, right? As well too, right? Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, I might piss off a few people right now. <laughs> hey, but that's no, okay. But that's okay. A lot. Like, I mean, a lot. Okay, sorry, <laughs> but I'll be real though. For me, that car is not worth 200k. Mm -hmm. Nowhere near that. For 200k, you can have way more better things than this. This is like this is. However, it is a nice car. Yeah. Like, let's face it, looks and, nice. And you have to understand, this car is a classic vehicle now, Correct. right? First, and uh, it's not many there. Yes. That's so, right. and then when you added all that. You say, well, they said 200,000 vehicle yeah. all day long, yeah. right? But when you see in the market, $200,000 vehicle, even less, you can get, you know, something newer, yeah. right? So which is just like, it's just so different. So it's yeah. just, it's so hard to compare an R34 with an R35 or any other vehicle, right? Yeah. So this is one of the kind, and, and if you own it, as, a, as at least for me, and for my perspective as an owner, this car is not worth $200,000 for now and this day, um, it's worth every penny. Yeah. And, yes. And for me, being not a GTR owner, which I appreciate the car, at the value that they are right now, for me to go pay 150,000 US from Japan or somewhere in Asia, not knowing how the car looks and bringing it over here, That's it's huge it's, it's huge. It's scary. I don't know if I'll be willing to do it. If I was to spend that kind of money, I would probably reach out to one of my fellow friends here and say, hey, you know, you want to sell your car? Because at least I know how the car has been driven, how they take care of it. But for me to spend 150 or whatever it is and import it from Asia, whew, I don't know. It takes a lot. <laughs> and that's a, it's that's, really risky. And that was a, risky. Remember the time mm -hmm. before I started vlogging, remember we took that trip to Vancouver? Oh, yeah. yeah. How many did we look at and how many was actually good? No. One. I mean, go one. One. Yeah. Well, two, two because of two. the, the M-Spec yeah. yeah. But that 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 was already at yeah. one hundred eighty-seven thousand dollars already, you guys. One hundred eighty-seven thousand. But was that Midnight Purple two, was the one ago. that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And that one look was, at the huge yeah. difference in price jump. It was when we looked, we he, looked then with two years ago, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. That was, two years ago. And that was, was Canadian. Two years this year. And that was one twenty US. US. Yeah, that's sorry. right. Yeah, one twenty US, US. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then the midnight purple. What did Victor want 134, for? One thirty-four, I think it was. Yeah, it was. It was one thirty-four, but he sold it for one seven, one oh seven. Yeah. Right? So it was like, yeah. And that was U.S. Right? Yeah, that US. was U.S. And now. But I mean, in purple. And what? It was two months ago. The midnight purple that was sold in the states went for two hundred and fifty U.S. Yes. Who yeah, can afford that now, you guys? Which is over three hundred thousand dollars Canadian. You can buy a house. So to basically to answer that You're question. You're McLaren, McLaren level too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah literally. That's McLaren, that's Huracan, yeah. that's you, R8. You name it, super cars, right? Sorry cars. R8 and a twin turbo kit yeah. for the R8 yeah. for the same price. Pretty much, yeah. For the same price. It is insane. Yeah, now that you mentioned it, yeah. So is it safe to say it is not obtainable no more to the, to the, average, <laughs> to the average person? To the average enthusiast? Yeah. No. No, yeah, right? Unfortunately. So unfortunately, you guys, coming from actual owners it's too far too gone yes. it's too late yeah. okay lucas can you give us or the viewers a little bit more of insight on how you stumbled across this beauty before it actually became this beauty well i'm an evil owner i love evils i had seven of them or eight 
Whichever, my first Evo blew up twice, maybe three times. And <laughs> I had enough of it, so basically I replaced the motor, sold it. And then I'm like, whoa, I need a car for summer. Right. One of my buddies like, oh, these became illegal. I'm like, oh, sweet, I'll give her a swirl. And that's how it was. That's how it was, eh? Yeah. So basically, I just messaged the guys yeah. to get them deposit. And fast forwarding now, Lucas, for the price that it is now, would you have bought one for 150? No, for 150, no. They don't get me wrong; they're awesome cars. They drive fantastic. They handle great. But for the 150 thousand dollars, I would not buy one. Yeah. What would but you buy for 150? For 150, what yeah. would I buy? 150. So that's Don't like, say BMW. That's like, <laughs> <laughs> no, he's about to say that. <laughs> no, no. You take the words from my mom. Like, he's about to say M3. Yeah. I have one. Because no. the 150, that's almost, right now, if you do the conversion, that's 187 Canadian. That's yeah. almost 200 grand Canadian. Yeah. What would you do with 200 grand? What car would you buy if you had that, that at your disposal? To be honest, I don't know. I would have to think about it. It opens, gonna, it opens gonna, the doors right, to yeah, a lot, a lot of many cars. cars. But let's go back to this. Let's I mean, go back to this. You name it. Let's go back to this. Did you know what you were buying? Did you know that what you were getting into? No, I did not. The funny part is when I picked up the car, I put it on a trailer because we drove to Calgary with my buddy to pick it up. We loaded on a trailer. Obviously, it was just open trailer, like normal U-Haul stuff you grab, right? So I'm driving on a highway and people are honking, giving me a thumbs up. I'm like, okay, <laughs> that's pretty Nothing sweet, right? I mean, don't get me, like when I sold the car, like when I pulled into the lot and I saw the car, I'm like, oh my God, this is beautiful, right? Even though it's in a stock form, looked like it didn't look anything close what it looks right now. However, I'm like, it's still good. But then when I came to Edmonton, I believe it was Thursday when I picked it up or Wednesday, then on Friday, there's usual meat, right? So I, I put my wheels on because I had a <laughs> spare set of wheels, dropped it even more because it was, was already on coilovers. So I'm like, put the wheels on, went to wash it, and went to UC. You guys no. wouldn't believe that. <laughs> I, was I on literally that. drove in, and all I see is just a bunch of people going like this, like zombies. <laughs> I'm like, what's happening? Yeah. I'm like, I honestly didn't expect that. Like yeah. It was overwhelming. I, I, I remember. I literally had to. Because you had your back. sick evil at the time well, too. Yeah, but I, I wasn't. Remember that he's an evil guy, so and I'm an evil guy too. So we were in the same uh, group, yeah. Alberta Evolution. And I remember everybody. Oh, you know, Lucas got this car. Lucas got this. You gotta bring it out. You know, blah and blah you blah. Guys, you know, <laughs> Ramos's evil was like his jaw dropper. And Thanks, imagine man. that that this car took away from your car. Oh yeah. Like it, it when That's this car came in the scene, is. it was automatically like everybody in the group was like, "Hey, when are you gonna bring the car? When are you bring the car?" Because everybody thought it was gonna be a garage queen. Like he was never gonna bring it out because we had some guys with evils there that you I'm ask them dry. to bring it out, and they're like, "No," <laughs> you know, remember? But he actually brought it out, and I was like, "Cool," you know, and yeah, like it's it was just instant, like. Sh I don't even think, honestly, he knew what he was getting into. No, <laughs> I didn't. I'm glad I bought it, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I love the car. I don't know if I'm going to sell it. If I sell it, but what an what, But what an investment, eh? Turning <laughs> from, you know let's what? say, even 40 grand, turning 40 grand into 150 U. And that's 40 grand, what, Canadian, right? Yeah. yeah. That's 40 Canadian. Now it's 150 US. Yes. Which is So the question is this. Dollars. If somebody comes along and tells you I give you 250 US for it, would you sell it? I was telling Lucas, <laughs> I'm if he sold my wife. <laughs> 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 I was telling Lucas because at one point he was contemplating on selling the car to put a down payment for his bigger house. Yeah. And he's like, fun, because he knew I was interested in buying a car, the Skyline. And he's like, well, do you want to be interested in selling it or buying it? And I'm like, are you sure, Lucas? Because I said, the day that that thing drives away and you see its ass drive away, you will fall down and cry. And I'm like, honestly, thank God he held on to it because I think he would have cried. I would have cried because you know what? We, then we wouldn't, yeah, have, but we knowing, wouldn't have a GTR. Knowing honor. the guy that you are, you probably say, Lucas, give me my money back. You can have it. I know, I know you are like that. You know? <laughs> If not for real, wouldn't he do that, you know? <laughs> See, at, at 200 grand, he could have had this at a thousand horsepower and some and some change kicking around. Because a lot of these cars that are going for 150 now, it ain't, looking, it ain't looking like this. No, no, no. And it's what, 300 horses, right? Yeah. 
That's all you're getting from it. And you could be getting a rust bucket yeah, too. You're in, yeah, that's true. You don't know the conditions, right? Yeah. 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 Like most of the guys that get these cars now, they're doing a lot of the, the rust things on the yeah. top of the restoration. The and rest yeah. restoration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and Marcos would yeah. know first hand experience because he restored his 33 yes. from yeah. the bottom up to, the top. to all the way to yeah. the all new bolts and everything. nuts and nuts, everything. everything. And that it. thing is crazy. And now, yeah. unfortunately, it's gone to it's the gone. States. Yes. So. Oh, yeah. Tell them how much you sold it for because just to see the 33 what the value you bought it for 18 right yeah and how much, and how much? money anyway <laughs> at the end of the day right it was a it was not a good investment for me back then i was not here in canada so somebody else was doing the project for me and when i bought the car it was eighteen thousand five hundred dollars something like that back in 2014 which it was probably like 12 or 13 thousand dollar americans which it was like it was affordable right yeah. but now in these days if you want to buy an r33 it's still a hundred thousand dollar vehicle which with me, I mean, it's just too high, especially for an R33. Yeah. Even for R34, I mean, just you can't get yeah. that anymore. And right. can you tell them how much you actually poured into that car to get it to that state <laughs> of oh, where? I, uh, I don't want to say that because you know my wife is, is, is going to kill me, right? <laughs> like it's just it, it was it, it was let's say it was in the double uh, yeah, triple it, triple it, digits, right? We're talking right? about yeah, it was uh, yeah, it was there, and I don't want to even mention, but I don't want to even power. remember, right? To it, it was overwhelming. It was. It was too much, yeah. right? Yeah. And uh, it was worth it at the end of the day, but yeah, it's taking too, too much time to get the parts and it's not many people and it took these you, cars. And then on top of the money-wise, it took you what, five years? Five years, just to finish. Five years, five years. right? Yeah. It, and it a, lot of, a lot of people don't understand that. Like it's, not a, it's not an overnight process. Yeah, no. And, and it was a lot just of- Just forget about the money. It's just, they're just trying to get the right parts, trying to, to make sure that whoever is working in your car is the right people. and it's overwhelming and it's stressful and it's, it's no fun and a lot of all these parts came out of the japan right it, yeah, it every wasn't like one. an overnight yeah, yeah it's not like um you guys it's not like fast and furious where you have a whole uh, ford lightning with the whole one sky uh <laughs> sylvia is following him behind with a whole truckload of parts it wasn't overnight parts from japan well <laughs> it, it was overnight over five years from japan if you don't look at that movie you see the parts that they're using they're using reactive parts man they're not from japan man. <laughs> right it was over you know five I mean? years yeah. from I, japan i, I, I right? saw his build being built and i mean he had quality parts in there he did not chip out in anything from 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 the suspension to anything it was top-notch parts i mean and even the amount of horsepower that you created out of that car you know the guy that got it is actually very lucky for yeah. what he bought it very happy yeah. yeah that mod that mod list was crazy you guys. like yeah. insa insanely crazy yeah, it was and so in the future we're gonna do an actual vlog on lucas's car and then have a special treat well marcos has a special treat he has an r34 with a huge mod list yes and we're gonna do some uh he's got some rollers and stuff yes, with I it right and, uh, about we're gonna end off the vlog are these becoming unobtainable now because they've just gone up what 15 grand within the last two months and it's, going up every month. And it's yeah so if you guys want to get into the market and grab one of these you better grab them now and don't even bother thinking about this unless you're a millionaire or your dad's a millionaire <laughs> you ain't getting one of these yeah. and if you are it's too good to be true yes if, if you're gonna get one for 60 grand you're in it for a major headache and unless you're willing to spend another 100k, Easy. it's the, the dreams when to get crushed, right? Dreams when to get crushed. In negative, right? All right, guys. So for in, in my opinion, yeah. 200 grand does open yeah. a lot of doors for other vehicles. But for me, I would yeah. spend it on this one in a heartbeat. Like, it is, that's how much I love that car. So, like, and really I'm a huge enthusiast, but can <laughs> I afford it? I don't I think, think so. <laughs> Not in a million years. And, oh, unless YouTube starts paying me, I'm become a YouTube star. But I ain't at that level yet, you guys. So dreams can be dreams, and we'll pursue it. Hopefully, one day. Yes. All right, Lucas. Thank you for sharing your insights. And look at the look at the shirt you guys. I just look at that. He just. He's a true evil guy. No, no, that's just. Look at that. Just. Nice. Again, thank you, Lucas, for uh, sharing your experience in your car with us. Uh, you want to share your uh, IG handle? Oh, it's on all wheel drive be underscore beast. All wheel drive beast. I'll put it in the uh, the comment section, guys. And again, thank you, Marcos. 
Anytime. You want to give me your your? Uh, oh, actually, I have it. I have it. It's over there. Yeah. Rico. <laughs> Mine has changed so much, but it's Chico Care seventy six. Yeah, of no. course, Mr. Chico here. All right. Oh no, it's Chico the Man seventy six. <laughs> See, I changed it so many times. The guy changes his name so many yeah, times. He doesn't. Like, even, he doesn't even remember. Oh, no, let me look it up. Man. Let me look it up. Now. You know, like, I'm, doing, I'm doing my new account now, so I gotta get it straight. Oh yeah, it's Chico the Man seventy six. See, Chico the Man seventy six. Any underscore? Any underscores? No. Nope, okay. Nope. Chico the Man. But we'll put in the we'll put it in the uh, description below for you guys to uh, check out their Instagrams. And Lucas and Marcos has a pretty sick uh, Instagram. Check out their cars for more, you guys. And don't forget. Smash the subscribe button you guys, turn on the notification and make sure to comment below and we'll see you guys in the next week's vlog. See ya! It's loud, but it's loud, but it don't spool. No, it needs the loud, it needs the load, right? <laughs>